Ronnie, you've done it. Seven world titles, and that really is magnificent. <laughs> Why does it mean so much this moment? Pardon? Why does it mean so much this moment? Because, as far as I'm concerned, this fella is uh, already an all-time great. The way he plays the game, um, just plays such dynamic snooker, and to put up with that pressure for two days, even when he's not playing well, you think he's just going to spark into action. So you're kind of having to be on your guard at all times. And uh, I never felt relaxed. Well, I tried to be as relaxed as I could, but you know, it was just a, to, that's probably my greatest result I've ever had, to be honest with you, against someone like Brad. <laughs> How heavily has that number weighed upon you? Ne and who helped you carry it? It never has. And I've never w bothered about records. Um, don't get me wrong. When you get him, you go, OK, that was kind of nice. But I've, I've, I'm not, I've never been... I've never performed well if I'm going for stuff like that. I just try to enjoy the game, compete, enjoy being on the circuit, try and enjoy what I do and, uh, and, and work hard at my game. And, and, then, and then it's sort of like you just let the snooker gods decide what they're going to decide. And this 17 days, they were on my side. And, uh, but with Judd, we all knew that he wasn't playing his best that he was. But that's what, a, that's what a champion does. They don't play to their best. They get to the final and they still nearly win it. So he's going to be winning this for a few times. And uh, the other guys better get their act together. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> <laughs> going to <laughs> Tribute to your team, and in particular, Dr. Steve Peter, <coughs> extraordinary presence in your corner. How much of the success over the last 10 years has he harnessed in you? Yeah, he's helped me sort of um, compete. You know, be a be a be a be a, an all-round professional. I had the talent, I had the game. If I was on, yeah, it was great. But if I was off, I was looking for the exit door, thinking, you know, it's, it's time to go home. You know, because I weren't really didn't enjoy digging it out. But I've learned that. Nobody can be perfect all the time, so just accept it, get on with it, you know, make best with what you've got to do, and you just don't know what's around the corner. So it's, it's like a bit of optimism, but it, it still needs to be drummed into me. I'm, I'm kind of, I always think, feel, the, feel the worst, so um, that's my natural state, really. So I have to fight against a lot of the demons, you know. So, um, but yeah, I'm here, competing, and uh, yeah, it was good. <laughs> says it's an honour to share seven with you. You've also tonight become the oldest world champion in snooker and that surpasses your great friend uh, and one-time coach Ray Reardon. Are you happy to share from here on in, Ronnie? Uh, we, can share, we can share it for a year. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely said. Um, you are 46 years of age and Thank I you. wonder how long, how many more targets, how many more ambitions do you have in this game now? I don't I, I don't have, I, I honestly don't have targets and I was saying to, to Robbie back there, I said, you know what, I've loved every tournament this year, even the ones down at Leicester because it's under the radar and I just love playing. This has just brought out the worst in me, to be honest with you. It's, it's, I, I, I've detached emotionally for the last seven, eight years. I, treat, I do treat every tournament like a training camp. I do my gym, do my running, I eat good food. You know, I, I like to win, but it's not the being in. Do I love competing with the guys? I love being around the guys. But this just brings out the worst in me. So uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea, but we'll probably go again next year because uh, I'm, I'm a glutton for punishment. And I'll tell you what, Luke is in your corner tonight. What does it mean to have your dad and your kids here? I've got the three runnies here tonight and uh, li little Lily. Yeah, he was, he was four when he first came here. Little glasses on him, getting the old time out. I see. remember. They're looking bigger feet than me. <laughs> More handsome. She's, she's a sweetheart. Growing up, beautiful, beautiful children. They're fantastic. And, uh, yeah, there's the dad as well. <laughs> <laughs>